The Society of Motion Picture and Television Engineers. Marge had a little talk with the folks at Utah Scientific. Can you tell me who's, who's using your product now? Oh, I have uh, users all over the United States and the world, actually, but uh, uh, just speaking here locally, uh, CBS uses our master control. They have a four-channel system. Uh, a major post house uh, would be uh, Encore Video, uh, a Riot uh, out in Santa Monica. They use our system. We just uh, did an install at USC, University of Southern California, at the new basketball uh, facility over there. Nice. So it's, it's, it's a multiple application uh, product. So Gary, can you tell me what, what is this big box that you have here at the show today? Actually, we're showing uh, uh, a routing switcher and master control combination. Uh, the routing switcher feeds the master control. The master control puts it on the air for the uh, broadcast television uh, system. There's uh, a variety of control systems as well for uh, controlling certain sources of video to certain destinations. So is this something that you would use with multiple cameras or multiple editing systems? A or both? Actually both. Uh, you, you, uh, the, the routing switcher is the, the so-called heart of a uh, television uh, uh, studio. And it allows you to select any video within the facility, whether it be from a camera or an editing bay or a server or whatever, to a destination. And uh, so that is the heart. And then this is actually the, the, uh, the piece that goes out, puts on the different commercials and the actual programming stream okay. to the transmitter. Okay, if you want to select a different source on the air, if you'll notice that change occurred there, that's what's going to the transmitter. So the guy sitting here pushing that button is actually changing what is on the transmitter or what you see at home. And you go to a commercial, you may go to a, a programming source or whatever. Okay. Now this is typically automated where it automatically goes to a commercial at a certain time and then switches to the programming uh, uh, video and so forth. Okay. Okay. And then, of course, this is just a general purpose controller that allows an edit bay or a camera location to select a source from the routing switch. Uh, you select the destination here with a touchscreen pad, uh, and then the source, uh, you can select it one of two ways. You can go here and here and then execute a take and you have executed a, uh, uh, that source to that destination, basically. Uh, in the center here, we have our IP switch, which actually controls the flow of data. It's a 10 gig E switch, which is a ethernet switch and provides data uh, transfer from one point to another or from one point to multiple points. There's two, two pieces here. There's actually a, a, a switcher that is a distribution switcher. Uh, and then there's also a master control switcher, which is more of a presentation type switcher. And then there's the uh, a, a gig E switch, which is data. But the other two are baseband. So I'm not really sure what that means. Okay. <laughs> well, well, baseband is vid is just uh, SD or HD video. Okay. Just as you see on your TV set at home. Uh, data is transferred and that's just a, uh, a, a bunch of ones and zeros that's transferred uh, from one point to another. And that's how these things communicate with each other. Sure. Then we tell the switcher to select a particular video and switch it to a particular uh, destination. And that data is uh, controlled by this uh, device here. A routing switcher and a master control combination all part of how those moving images would get to Marge's TV set. She was on a roll.